Hi everybody. Um, you may get in the background um, the fight of the um, evening that's about to go down and probably like in the next 45 minutes. But I got this Cheryl Beauty back in um, today and I just wanted to um, go over it. This is the No um, Petite No, um, which is the iconic No, um, the iconic bag um, that was created by Louis Vuitton um, back in 1932. Now, most people who follow me, uh, and this is the fight. I'm not trying to show anything like that, but that's the fight that's on right now. Um, so being what it, whenever you watch this video, you'll probably remember this. Um, but anyway, I'm trying to go a little fast because I don't know when the main event is going to happen. But um, I digress. Okay, so let me just give you a little quick history and get cut right down to the chase. This is not going to be a long video. This is going to get straight to it, right? So I have the No GM. Um, and the monogram, of course. Um, one of the most iconic, um, eye-catching bags of Louis Vuitton. Most people know that Louis Vuitton was luggage. Most people know the most, um, the original print was Damier Beer, uh, Damier a Bean, which was, is, the, that means, um, Damier means checkerboard, right? So the Damier came out, and then years later, after Louis Vuitton passed, they decided to, um, cover his um, luggage with not uh, only the Damier print, um, but the LVs in remembrance of Louis Vuitton. Um, so, um, I digress even further. Okay, so it was the Damier of being first, the Louis Vuitton monogram, um, and then the Damier Azure in that order. So, um, let's continue. This beauty is one of the second hand bags that was create was originally created to be um something for travel and then later turned an into being a part of the handbag collection. Um pe a lot of people don't look at this as a unisex bag, but the no um GM is definitely a unisex bag. Um and let me tell you why it's a unisex bag. The if you look at the no, if you look at this back front f facing front, it it could be uh without me telling you, it could easily be the backpacks that are out now. Um maybe not the Christophers, but the smaller backpacks that are out. Um because they took the the style of the backpacks from the no. That's that's another story for another day. So Louis Vuitton does an extension of bags, like the Diane bag that's out. It's an extension of another bag, and I'm making this video a little bit too long, so I'm going to cut to the chase. Everybody knows that Audrey Hepburn was the one who um, saw the Speedy, the keep all, in a larger bag and wanted to bring it down a notch for carrying on the train, her travel, and things like that. So Louis Vuitton... What they did is they granted Audrey her request and they made the iconic Speedy 30, which is the first Louis Vuitton carry, um, the first Louis Vuitton um, carry on bag, um, keep all bag, carry on bag, whatever you want to call it, um, that was transferred into being a handbag. And it is the original handbag from um, Louis Vuitton. Next, became the no which is also n stands for noah um and yes i'm talking about noah from the bible um why okay the original gm no which i have but i'm not featuring that today um was created to carry five bottles of champagne right two bottles down i mean four bottles down and one up in the middle um, this is not going to give you that idea because if you know the, the no GM, it's like probably, um, 
a few inches much higher than this where champagne, champagne bottles also with wine bottles could fit inside. Why was this name after Noah? Because we all know that Noah did drink, right? So Noah, wine, um, Louis Vuitton um, did the, un, um, the connection that way and decided to name a handbag after Noah, um, which the bag can to this very day still carry four champagne, five champagne bottles, two down, one up, um, and it is called the No or the Noah GM or the No Petite or the No Nano. These this bag now comes in different sizes, right? Um, this bag is also a tie string and not a draw string. I added a drawstring. I got this drawstring from, um, I actually got it from Amazon. You can get it from Esty. Um, but I did not like tying it. I did not like having to do a knot and then too much. It just way too much. So for my no GM and my no petite, I both, I have both drawstrings on here. Go digress. The difference between this one, which is the original no um, petite and the no petite that's out now is the bottom. This bag, the no GM came out in 1932. The petite no came out in the 90s. I don't know the exact date. I'm thinking 93, 90, 92 around that time. That's when the petite came out, right? Um, and, um, when it originally came out, it did not have the base, like the base has always been that large Vachetta base, um, for the GM. But when they originally, when Louis Vuitton created this bag, which you're looking at it now, it did not have the large base at the bottom. It came like this. The only thing that I wish that this bag had that it doesn't have today is feet. Um, I happen to like this version of the petite with the flat vachetta and I happen to like the GM with the with the fat the larger vachetta that takes up a quite a probably about an inch of the bag which raises these this body of the bag a lot higher on the GM the newer petites um knows come just like the no GM originally came and originally is now so if you get a petite no now, this is a um original um this is a vintage no. And I'm gonna tell you why it looks so new in a minute. Um they came when they revamped it, they added the um vachetta, that thick vachetta. Instead of just having the base of it be vachetta, they added it just like the GM. The difference between this one and the newer ones, this is made with vachetta leather. The newer ones are made with cowhide. Um, both of them is raw leather. This is vachetta leather. The new one that comes out now is made with cowhide leather. Vachetta means raw leather. Cowhide um, can be treated and raw. It just depends. But I don't know why Louis Vuitton changed it, but I'm just giving you the history of it. This bag was re, um, I had all the, the leather changed up and re, um, reupholstered over. All of this was done uh, over. Only thing that you cannot do to a Louis Vuitton bag is get this done over. You cannot get the monogram, um, you cannot get, you cannot get this done over. So the canvas cannot be fixed. If you tear the canvas, if you rip the canvas, you got to pray that it does not keep ripping. <laughs> because that's the only thing that Louis Vuitton cannot and will not fix. I'm not going to say cannot. They do not fix, right? Canvas torn, oh well. Leather starting to do whatever it does over with age or whatever, they can redo it. But they do not do their canvas over. So, this is an old vintage bag. Um the difference is in here is that um this is it's so beautiful y'all this bag is so beautiful i love everything about it um this is a different strap this is not the original strap i've had the leather done over and guess what i don't mind it looking 
a little new and old mixed because when I did this it was pretty pricey but guess what I how I wish I could have showed you guys how beat up this bag was I cleaned her for days and I let her clean 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 but the vachetta just could not it just was not I wasn't gonna be able to make it like that so uh, everything with this bag what you're looking at is a $800 makeover with the bag the cost of this bag I got it because she was so beat up and torn up and just uh, the leather was just they the corners they took this bag down through there I think it was 375 $375 plus taxes so $400 for an authentic Louis Vuitton, no. Yes. And then I had the leather done over by a cobbler. Not Louis Vuitton. Cobblers, y'all. Cobbler. So, some of this does not have, like, the serial numbers and things like that. But I had the um, bag checked out. And it is an authentic um, no. So, it is an authentic no. Um, under $400 that I originally paid for it. I had a cobbler reduce um, the leather part of it over for me the strap I will put at the bottom of this video um, that I how I, I think I either got the strap from where did I get the strap from it was either eBay or Estes that I got the strap for this bag from I'm not sure but it is not the original strap so I digress. The Spence and Crawford um, fight is about to come up in a few minutes, you guys. So I'm not going to hold out much longer. I just wanted to, you guys to see this beautiful, beautiful bag. It is one of the most iconic bags. So first, just to give you some history, just to repeat a little bit. Speedy, the first bag ever, handbag ever from Louis Vuitton, right? Audrey got her wish. We have been blessed ever since. The No GM was originally a champagne bag or a wine bag, whatever one you want to call it. You can hold five champagne bottles or five wine bottles. Um, we saw it, blah, 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 1932. We wanted it. It became ours, right? In the 90s, they decided that, hey, we not only want to have the tall GM, let's get a smaller one. The small petite Noah became a, one of the most iconic bags along with the GM. So the Speedy and the um the speedy and the no uh, the first original handbags from um Louis Vuitton they have have decades and decades of history with Louis Vuitton but then what what sits right along beside them is the speedy so the three most iconic most seen most used most visibly recognized bags from Louis Vuitton is the no the speedy and the never full. You can go to any airport, any grocery store, any outing, you're gonna see about five or six never fulls. You're gonna maybe see a couple of speedies. You may see a no every every now and then, but those two bags you're definitely gonna see in the airport. You're gonna see a key fall, which is a bigger version of the speedy. You may see a speedy 40 or a speedy 35 pack for travel. Some people even use their 30 um, for travel. But you're definitely going to see a never fool. You're definitely going to see a keep all. And you may see a few no's. Those are the three most iconic bags from Louis Vuitton. There's so many different bags that I could go over. But those are the three most recognized, iconic, and the ones that will outlast the rest of them, right? If you got those three pieces, then you're good to go. Of course, I have different ones. And I got my Graceful, which is the number one bag for me of all time. But if you have those three, the no, the speedy, and the never full, you're good to go. You got one of you got three of the most iconic bags from Louis Vuitton. You, it's a wrap. You're good to go. Be happy. Be peaceful. <laughs> but I wanted to show you guys this. Um very, very happy. I will do a video separate from this talking about the cobblers um that can remake your bag over. There's a few people on Facebook that do cobbler um extensions i seen somebody do a cobbler um bum bag and i was blown away made with um with the monogram 
canvas from Louis Vuitton, the original monogram canvas from Louis Vuitton, and they remade a bum bag. Now, I showed you my bum bag that was reconstructed um, by a cobbler, but I'm talking about a bum bag that never even existed and was created. So I was blown away by some of these people that are catching on because Louis Vuitton, even though Louis Vuitton bags, of course, I love them, but their prices are outrageous and people are seeking to get their bags elsewhere. Gently used is where it is. Trading is where it is on Facebook or you have a different social media outlet that you can do it through a trusted person to trade out or sell or whatever, however you choose to do. But going directly to the Louis Vuitton site, everything is super, 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 super expensive, you guys. If you can find um, a bag off, off a gently used site, please do. Please do. Um, some I do not recognize, recommend because, like, the bum bag is way too much on the Gently You site. Try to find somebody on the um, Facebook or somewhere that's willing to sell or trade theirs off. But, um, yeah, be wise. Be wise. Um, don't don't overspend. Um, before you take the plunge and go to the actual boutique, Search, do your research, search around first. Um, because things things are uh, pricey at Louis Vuitton and they're not getting any better. Um, spend wisely. You don't have to have every bag. My husband tells me that all the time. Babe, you don't have to have every bag. You got every bag. Just stop. So, um, and I'm happy and peaceful with what I have. My collection is, is very nice, and I'm grateful to be able to have a collection that I can give to my my daughter and my grandkids in the future, you know. So um, you don't have to have every bag. Make wise decisions. Um, get a bag that you can use for cetera purposes. The Neverfull is what I call an et cetera bag. It is a workhorse bag. It is a out with your friends bag, grocery store bag, and a travel bag. Excellent bag to buy if you want to invest in um, in an, in a luxury handbag. Another bag is the No GM. It's not one comfortable for going out to eat or something like that because that bag is so big. So um, it's it's not one that you want to go to eat with. It's a it's a it's a workhorse. It's a travel bag. It's a night go, overnight trip with your spouse um, bag. But it, it definitely can be a work one, a travel one, and all that. But to hang out, get get you a little Speedy or a Diane or something. But um, that thing is big. But um, I digress. I digress. Spend responsibly. Save. Save, save, save. This is the time to save. Save your money. Invest in things that you can later go back in and make a, a profit out of. Luxury bags increase in value. They appreciate. Homes appreciate in value. Cars depreciate as soon as you drive it off the lot. You see what I'm saying? So if you're going to invest in something that you really, really like, that's something that you really want in life, Make sure that it is something that if you needed to, you can sell and get and recoup or get some money off of it. And that's all I'm saying. So and that's that's the luxury handbag world is you can always sell it. <laughs> but anyway, this video is almost 20 minutes long. It was supposed to be 10 minutes. So I've said all I needed to say. I hope you guys are safe out there. Love your family. Take care of yourselves and be peaceful. Have a good evening.